right, here's the top five. Welterweight contender Bilal, remember the name Muhammad. And I pause at calling him an overachiever, but there were a lot of people who didn't necessarily think that this man was going to vault into the top five and be the factor that he has become one of the UFC's deepest divisions. Well, when you're this committed, when you are so committed to your craft, you have an iron will that you will be something special, you can accomplish anything. That's Bilal Muhammad. When you talk to him, you get a sense that this guy believes that he's the best in the world. He doesn't believe it. He applies the work ethic to it to make himself and give himself a chance. It has allowed for him to be exact where he is today. And now he believes he might just be one win away from his first shot at the UFC title. We'll see how it goes for Muhammad tonight. have come out to see this man throw hands here tonight. You can argue he has some of the best boxing in this division. But fighters are a sensitive lot. It's like every time we put over his hands, he feels like we're saying out of the other side of our mouth that he's not well-rounded. That's not the case. No, we're not calling him limited at all. We're not saying this guy can't do everything. But and what pops off the page is his hands, his hand speed, his power in his hands, his ability to set up his hands through his feints and his movements. He can do so many good things in the boxing realm that you lock in on that thing. But you make no mistake about it. This guy is very well-rounded, but ultimately, it will be his boxing yeah. that will allow for him to be successful. And defensively, certainly, he's not going to be confused with Pernell Whitaker, but he moves his head very well, manages distance exceedingly well, and stylistically, oh, sweet. Sweet view, so all time ago. And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Herb Dean is your referee. Right. He's the third man in the octagon right. tonight. Good. All right, here we go. Round one with Bilal. Remember the name Muhammad. And a lot of people were willing to forget the name when he lost to Jeff Neal back in 2019. This man has been on an absolute tear ever since, training now with his native Chicago and Mike Valley's Academy. But it's the wrestler. It's the oh, nice guard with it, yes. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. Making all these shots count. Muhammad's back in full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Choi's in half guard. Oh, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd. No surprise. I loved it. I loved all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Effective use of the jab by 
Sure. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Back and forth we go. Blocks the shot. That left hand's getting home. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Big kick land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Beautiful work with the knees in the clinch. Oh, that's a heavy kick downstairs. Now some separation from his clutch position. Just over two minutes now to go. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. And doing work with the jab. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, single follow tie here. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Bilal Muhammad. I mean, is this thing on repeat? How many times did you say punch to the head? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice takedown defense. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Deep now. Nice punch by Muhammad. Man, his counter's on point tonight. The jab is good. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. And he's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, they're showing huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. And that one certainly found the target. Another strike to the head land. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Choi's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Him with the straight hand there, beautifully done by the Korean Super Bowl. 15 seconds remain in the round. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Round two straight ahead. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's get to round two. <laughs> All right, here we go. Next round is underway. The previous round figures to be a tough act to follow. Just a great balancing job of patience, accuracy, and aggressiveness. You watch him, and you see the relaxation in his approach. Everything is going up. The shoulders are popping. The feints. The feints come up. The jab. The right hand. Everything just seems to be clicking. He was in the zone. Sometimes basketball players say there's a lot of basketball in his guard is game. In the first round, and look. Like he was in his zone. DC can't throw the ball in the ocean. I can't throw the ball into the ocean. <laughs> got a pretty good 15. Feet. I got a good jump shot, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Muhammad gets the takedown. All right, so we told you off the top that this boxer wanted the best chance at victory tonight. He had to keep the fight upright. So far, so good. Yeah, he's done that. And he's done a fantastic job of staying upright, giving himself an opportunity. You can see all the work that they have done with this guy to help him improve in that area that he was lacking in early in his career. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Swing and a miss by Joy. 
All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, now a little separation between the two fighters. And blocks the shot there. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some hands, <laughs> can fall in love with this. He can fall in love with the striking, but he is showing tonight that everything starts with his wrestling. He gives you the level change, which then in turn helps him land in the striking. He looks fantastic. I did not expect him to look this good in the boxing tonight. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Under three minutes here to go, round two. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, nice jab there by Bilal Muhammad. <laughs> nice. Nicely done. Uppercut lands. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight. And it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work and it all comes together on fight. It all comes together. Nothing feels better. To go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp. And it goes... As desired, right on the bottom. Under two minutes now to go. That kick lands. Nice punch to the head. Oh, nice. Nice. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Choi's in half goal. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown, seeing his final touch. I mean, set up a sub attempt. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is wrapped in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing the opponent to get the submission victory. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one, in box press, hands up, chin down. Twenty seconds left. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Final seconds here. Back mount now. Oh. Ten minutes in the books. All right, man, listen to me. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to go out there and I want you to take him down and put him on his back. Control the fight on the ground. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Flip with a left-hand counter. Taking down. Muhammad. 
Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hip, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Nicely done. Muhammad grounded down from half guard now. Let's see if he can do some damage. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Choi's got a lot of weapons on both sides as he switches his stance here. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all his coming strikes. Well, we may have the best tough men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut as it continues to ride him with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Shoots for a takedown. Again, takedown stuff. Muhammad's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Takedown defense is there. Oh, the judo chops on full display. Beautiful hip toss to take him down. Ronda Rousey did this for a long time, loading people up in those high amplitude throws. This young man is very well versed in this position, and he has a lot of tricks to get you to put yourself exactly where he needs you. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Hey, well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by the Korean Super Bowl. On to the mark. Oh, nice. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Choi's back in full mount. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. 30 seconds to go. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Muhammad has got full mount now. Oh. Final seconds of round three. <laughs> and that'll do it. 15 oh, minutes in the books. Stop. Stop. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. 
getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready? You ready? Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Muhammad gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, that's a beautiful left hand count. He should be more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Shaw. His cardio is great right now. He still seems fresh. He can seem like he can fight two more rounds if he needs to. Muhammad's doing a nice job protecting the eye with that block. You don't want to absorb any more damage on that cut. Takedown defense holds up. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Choi. Missed with that right hand. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Gets to the single collar top. Strike to the body here instead. It's turned away by Shore. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Under three minutes to go in round four. Muhammad swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Lead hook by the Korean Super Bowl. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Muhammad's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Oh, pretty good entry here on the double leg takedown. No good. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that shot. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Nice jab by Bilal Muhammad. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Take down a late, and it's good. Better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrimp and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Now he's going full mount. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Deal, Billy. 
10 seconds remaining here in round four. Choice right back to the full mount. Oh. 20 minutes in the oh. can, five to go. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase the finish. Good work from the top here by Bilal Muhammad. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Oh, that jab alerted his opponent. Muhammad gets caught by that straight punch there. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Oh, nice jab. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now some separation. Establishing the jab here. Muhammad's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, you see. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. He gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pack to this guy. Nah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strike. Muhammad going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight-ending intentions. Well, he is clearly losing this fight. It has not been his best performance, but he can change all of that with a late submission. He's struggling because he hasn't been able to get this fight to the ground. Now he needs to abandon his setup for the takedown, grab his opponent, and try to take it to the floor so he can chase the submission. Takedown defense holds up. He gets to the single collar tie. Look, they only drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Muhammad's really bleeding now. That cut is only getting worse. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice lead uppercut. Another good stick to the head. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Two minutes now to go in this one. The fighters on point tonight lands a beautiful kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked about the Anderson Silva situation. Straight right is there. Right back. Both right fighters back. hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Oh, nice takedown defense. 
Under a minute now to go in the fight. Another take down the lead. Muhammad's in half guard now. Oh, right into Mount. Superboy gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, in case of pick your poison here, if you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. seconds of the fight. And there's the final horn. We go to the scorecards. One of the greatest fights that we have seen all year. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe a few years removed from his fighting prime. We'll see just how far he can take it.